How's it going guys? It is the Gaming News Stuff here. Now, today I wanted to make a video that's a little different. Normally when I make a video, it's covering an event or something along those lines. But today, I want to speak to you about my current team that I use in the arena. Now, the reason I'm making this video is until about last week, my highest rank in the arena was like, what, 190 or something, maybe even 200. So I was not very high up in the arena at all. I struggled and everything. But I've just changed up my arena team, and today I'm going to show you. Now, this is the highest rank I've ever been, 104. I think I was at 100 but just before I started this video. And there is no guarantee that we are going to win these battles, but I'm going to show you my team. This is a 40,000 power team, the highest power I've ever had, too. If I swapped out Darth Maul for Anakin, it would be higher power, but I prefer Darth Maul. And I'm going to show you basically each character quickly. So first of all, we have Emperor Palpatine. He's gear level 10. I do not have any gear level 11 characters yet. All his abilities are maxed. And my goal with Emperor Palpatine is to give him speed. So as you can see, we have plus 7 speed there, 25 speed, 5 speed, 13 speed, 11 speed, and 4 speed. So that brings him to a total of, I've probably gone past it already, yes, 187 speed. Now this is incredibly helpful, so he can get his stun or shock off as soon as possible if you need it. Um, next up, we have good old fashioned Kylo Ren. He's only gear level 9, but I'm currently working on the stun guns to get him to gear level 10. And then he'll be even more of a powerhouse. All of his abilities are maxed except for Outrage, because I do not have the Zetas. Um, with him, I've kind of just, I don't have a ton of mods, so I've kind of just gone for a decent mod set. I've gone for a bit of speed, so 7 speed, 19 speed, 4 speed, uh, no speed on that one, but critical chance. 7 speed, and, uh, nothing special there. Like I say, this isn't the best team in the world, this is just my team that seems to be working for me at the moment. Next up, we have, not Anakin. Jesus, what am I doing? What am I doing, lad? Who is next on the lit? Can we stop? <laughs> oh god, I've broken it. Um, Boba Fett, there we go. Once again, all of his abilities are maxed out except for Bounty Hunter's Resolve, the Zeta. He's gear level 10. I'll just go for it this way. We have... I went for a bit of speed on him too, so 5 speed, 14 speed. Um, no speed there. No speed there. 9 speed and 3 speed, just to try and get the ability block off as quick as possible against some of the more scary enemies. Oh my god, I'm never going to get out of this menu. Oh, I don't... Oh, Ben. Um, sorry. Darth Vader is next up. Gear level 10 again. Once again, I do not have the Zeta ability. And for him, I've gone a bit more for kind of critical chance where possible. So, we've got a bit of critical chance in each place, just so that that culling blade can get some good damage off of it with the crit. Um, and I don't worry too much about potency in any of these characters because of the fact that, you know, um, Emperor Palpatine is my leader and his potency is pretty good. Next up we have Darth Maul, gear level 10 again. Once again, not Zated here or I would be using him as the leader. And for him, went for a bit of speed, nothing specific again. 21 speed there, which is pretty good. No speed there. 3 speed, 4 speed and no speed. If you do have interest, I had to click home or it would have taken me forever to get back through all those characters. Um, if you do have interest in having a closer look at the mods that I'm using, just pause the video at that point in time. Okay guys, sorry about that, I'm back. Some people just got home in my house and had to tell them I was recording or we would have had everyone busting in. So this is the team, they're all level 85, mostly gear level 10 except Kylo and Emperor Palpatine as lead. Let's jump into a battle. Probably lose because every time I try to make videos like this, I always end up losing miserably. Like I said, I've never been this higher rank, so these enemies are all incredibly, like, just a lot stronger than what I'm used to. So, hopefully, we don't get too destroyed. If you guys haven't used Kylo Ren yet as well, I strongly, strongly recommend you try him out. He is fantastic. Um, I... 
he's just so good. I would recommend him strongly to anyone. We should probably take out uh, Lando as quick as possible so that he doesn't keep using his incredibly strong ability. Take out him. As you can see, Kylo does some sweet, sweet damage. Especially once he drops below that 100% um, health. And when he has debuffs and has taken damage. Some solid, solid damage. Um, we just hit rank 91, which is the highest, highest rank I have ever hit in this game. Which is pretty exciting. Um, which means as well, I believe, we get more of a reward than I've ever gotten either. So prizes... Yeah, so I'll get 625, so rank 51 to 100. I've only ever been mainly in this tier is where I normally sit, and now sitting in this tier is a pretty exciting prospect. So I'll show you guys that team one more time, just in a gal uh, galactic war, yep. So it's gonna be very easy, but to, just to show off the team a bit more, I am a big fan of it. The team before this I was using was an Empire team, but my Shore Trooper was not strong enough to really be worth it. I was using basically, um, as you can see as well, Emperor Palpatine always gets to go very close to first, which is really good. But I was basically using um, Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, uh, Boba Fett, um, TIE Fighter Pilot, and Shore Trooper. But this team, mainly the mods that I've given them, has made it fantastic. The speed makes all all the difference in this team it is crazy um i assume you guys know the abilities of most of these characters and to be honest which is a good thing pretty much all, all of well all of these characters realistically are farmable emperor palpatine i believe the emperor palpatine event is on front of a day or so so if you do not have the rebels save them up for the next time he is fantastic i know that this isn't the number one meta team but it's working for me and i just wanted to make this relatively quick video to share with you guys the current team I am using. Once this refreshes, I will record another battle for you, so I'll be back when that happens. Okay guys, I'm back. You may be sitting there thinking, but what do you mean? The match, the uh, refresh is still happening. I'm just gonna spend 50 crystals on it, just because I don't wanna have to wait. Uh, so let's find a decent match that isn't going to scare us too much. Let's take the risk and go for this one. I know that there is a Royal Guard, which may be a big issue for us, purely because Royal Guard, you know, a bit of a counter to most things a lot of the time. But that's okay. We'll attempt to get the stun off on a few. That was a kind of a failed stun. So if we stun you, that is very, very helpful. To get the days off. And I will shock the Royal Guard so he doesn't get his super um, taunt up, which is always a good thing to not have happen. Go for the AoE, lovely. Now you're going to taunt, aren't you? Holy crap. I am not gonna lie, I do not like going up against Rebel teams until in the last few days. I never even fought Rebel teams because of how scary and how much damage they can do. But as you saw, Kylo Ren took out ha Stormtrooper Han in no time just then with his uh, special Outrage, I believe it's called. And, you know, it is a solid attack and a solid team that really does some immense damage and just, like I said, the best team I've personally used. Obviously, I never got a chance to run Bays and Chirrut when they were in their prime. But we are now rank 86, which is pretty exciting. Oh my goodness, maybe we can get top 50. Not today, because I've run out of arena attempts. And there it is, the highest I've ever achieved in the squad arena, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped. If you are a new player, you can farm most of these characters. Darth Vader is relatively easy, especially once you unlock fleet shipments. Boba Fett is very easy to farm in the Cantina shipments, Cantina battle shipments. Palpatine, like I said, is from an event. Kylo Ren is in the Squad Cantina battles. Two of them, I believe. And Darth Maul is in the uh, shipments for fleets and the guild shipments. And obviously most of these characters are available in packs if you buy packs as well. 
Anyway, guys, I do hope this helped you out in the slightest if you are looking for a good arena team. It works for me. Hopefully, it works for you. Remember to pause the video at the mods if you were interested in seeing what mods I'm using. And, guys, peace out.